So today's skill, Demon Flash Strike, was requested by none other than the legend himself, Burkhole. And I just wanted to give him a quick shout out and say thank you very much for making the recommendation. And for those of you who somehow don't know who Burkhole is, what are you doing? You're using the internet wrong. But don't worry about it. I'll help you out and I'll leave links to his channel down below. If you like my stuff, you're guaranteed to love his. And going forward, I think I'll be giving quick shout outs to whoever's comment I saw recommending a skill first. But without further ado, let's go on ahead and get into the breakdown. Demon Flash Strike is a strike super that is unlocked as a random reward in Parallel Quest 160 from Hero of Justice Pack 2. The description reads, Strike a pose that stops the opponent's melee attack. Once hit by an attack, you'll counter with a powerful kick. Additional input during the pose lets you move in front of your opponent to attack. Now, let me go on ahead and start putting that into perspective for you. One tap of the button will have your character going into a counter pose. It comes out real quick, and it doesn't last too long, so be aware of that. You'll have to be pretty reactionary with it. But the counter will activate when your opponent hits you with basic attacks and with most strike skills as well. When used successfully, the opponent will be trapped in place and will be forced to take one hell of a kick from you. You can also do a double input on the move, and in this variant, you will teleport right up to your opponent and perform a gut punch that is then followed by a key blast to the face. Now, counters are a very reactionary type of skill, and when using the counter variation of this move, you're not going to want to throw it out there all willy-nilly. You're going to want to use it as a response to your opponent making a hasty approach. Otherwise, if you're just spamming the move, you might find that your opponent is being more reactionary to you rather than you to them. Also, when it comes to the counter variation of the skill, you need to be cautious of spamming the button in panic or in carelessness, as it will result in you using the move's second variation, which can put you in a tough spot if your opponent is in the middle of a basic attack combo while you do that. Now, along with basic attacks, you can also counter most strike supers. The counter actually won't activate for the likes of Spirit Stab, Soaring Fist, and Sonic Bomb. So be wary of using it against strike skills like that that have some sort of range on them. But otherwise, it works great against any other type of strike super. It even activates against moves that put you into a grab animation, like Demonic Destruction, Gigantic Rage, and Super God Fist. Now, as per Strike Ultimates go, most of the time what'll happen is they will activate the counter if it lands, but the kick will not connect in most cases. When it comes to things like Spirit Sword and Death Meteor, it just doesn't work out. But I did find out that it actually will work against Apocalyptic Burst. So, do with that information what you will. And otherwise, that just leaves us with the second variant, which has a much simpler method of implementation, as it pretty much just works as a combo ender that you can use after pretty much any knockback or knockdown. Now, it won't connect just anywhere in the middle of your combo, however, as when I was testing the move, it did not true combo, even at points where you can guarantee a stamina break. And just for point of reference, I test all of these skills on a type of male Saiyan hybrid between strikes and key blasts. With the Super Soul, I've cast aside everything for this. So the damage seen in these videos can definitely be taken to greater heights. And I think that takes care of Demon Flash Strike, the counter combo finisher hybrid. Now, there are hundreds, literally hundreds of skills in this game, and I'm gonna try and cover them all for you guys. But the odds of me knowing every last detail for every last skill is a little unlikely. So if there are any details about this skill that I missed, or if there's anything in the future after this video comes out that changes the way this skill works, then please be sure to fill everybody in down in the comments section below. I would certainly appreciate any assistance in helping keep the info in this video updated and complete in that regard. But with all that being said, I think that's about my cue to bounce. I hope you found what you were looking for in this video, and until we meet again, make sure you take care.
See you.